Hey, this is Daryl Webster here, and I'm just introducing you to uh, something in beta now at the moment, something called docs.com, a, uh, a basically a portfolio platform that you can use to publish pieces of work um, and present them all together in collections. It's really focused around the Office documents and PDFs at this stage, but it, it does bring in uh, Office mixes and sways. Um, so we're going to have a quick look at, at some of the things that have been released recently. And um, you know some of the uh, changes that I was surprised to see. So um, when you go to docs.com, initially um, you've got this page, and you can sign in with your your Microsoft account. Uh, there's no word about whether you can sign in with your Office 365 account or not. That may be something you can do in the future, kind of along with the uh, similar pattern that Sway and uh, Office Mix have gone along with. Um, but we're kind of looking at, at the moment, a couple of examples, featured collections that are there. And uh, I'm just going to just sign in very quickly at the top. So uh, I'm signing in with a Microsoft account, and pretty simple. Um, so we presented initially with the same page, but we can go straight ahead and start publishing things. Um, so at this point, what I can do is drag and drop documents from uh, a folder on my computer, or I can go and access OneDrive. Um, and that will just go through and, and look, of course, into my OneDrive account, and I can choose to publish documents that I already have there. Um, yeah, I won't, won't take you through my collection at this stage. Um, but, you know, just having an initial look to it, at, oh, look, they had added the ability to publish Sways and Office Mixes. So, you know, I can go in there and um, you'll see the uh, one of the one of my favorites I had fun doing was the, the OneNote Avenger Sway that I... I um, created when I was over in Seattle. Um, bit of fun at the uh, Seattle airport. So yeah, there's a few things that you can um, drop in and add. Um, and when you're dropping in details, you can um, uh, contribute or, or attribute the authorship to perhaps you're sharing something that isn't yours. And it is, you know, good manners to, to say that this was created by someone else. Um, brief description. These are sorts of things that pop up, as you'll see when, when we have a bit of a closer look. Um, tags to be able to find things a bit easier and even signifying what kind of license you want people to be able to, to use. Um, so we'll just uh, skip over to my collection as it is at the moment and uh, you'll get a feel for what we can do and something that I was quite surprised at, at what was added was um, that we can now not only is it quite a, a lot more attractive but I can um, add find as a header I was add a sum and just kind of what it's allowed to do is not just show something graphical, um, it can tell a story. So I'll probably come up with a better sway for, for the purposes of, of having something more permanent in my portfolio, but I just threw this one in just to try and see what it could do, what it, what was it, what it was capable of. Um, so you know, I, I would just keep a nice short sway um, to, to try and give people an idea about what you're interested in and some of the things that you've uh, recently been doing. Um, but you'll see also, um, just as we scroll down a bit further, that there's um, some work I'm, you know, particularly proud of, and and that I might have pinned a, a, as a um, a focus point. So we've got a, a sway that I created um, back when Office 365 Groups was first released, and and I just wanted to sort of answer the question, what are Office 365 Groups? Um, you know, since then we've learned that it's changed a lot more, and there's a lot more to describe it. But you know, it's still a piece of work I wanted to share. I've got my uh, TechEd presentation from last year at um, New Zealand TechEd, now Microsoft Ignite, and then my um, sway of the Microsoft experiences that I that I had at Microsoft Ignite during uh, during May, um, trying to you know capture all my experiences in, in the sways um, for each day, um, and then you know just a little um, Office Mix, of course, that that I published for um, the introduction to the OneNote Class Notebook Creator when that came out. Um, you know, that was good, and I was um, able to, to share a lot of good information there. But what's come through recently is, um, you know, I got onto using Cura Collections for trying to share um, links and, and curate useful resources that I found. And one that I've tried to keep up to date as much as I can was the uh, curation for Microsoft user voice sites. Seems to be a, a number of them popping up. Um, the, at the time, there wasn't really an easy way to find out what is available out there to try and um, you know let your voice be heard and, and contribute ideas to the different products for Microsoft. Um, so I put that Cara collection together and um, those have just come over in the last day or two so we'll have, have a quick look at those too. 
I want to keep the video short so that you you know sort of um, you know tail off. So we'll um, just have a quick look at uh, hmm. having a look at how this uh, office mix looks. I guess it's just going to take me straight through to the mix. Actually, no. This is what I wanted to show you. So um, not only are, um, is the the docs experience bringing you the content and presenting it as you see there on the, on the right hand side of the screen. Um, so we've got my description and um, if we go a bit further down there is an area for comments. Now it looks quite unassuming there at the moment. There's nothing going on really because not many people have seen my content or commented. But if we expand that you'll see that it's using the discuss uh, platform and there was a partnership that's sort of been formed with uh, this particular project that the docs.com project and discuss and discusses the uh, conversation engine uh, what we have seen as we've discussed this on a, a Yammer forum is that it isn't the account that you might already have if you're a member of or using the discuss forums sorry discuss platform for for conversations this is your Microsoft account being used for for this particular purpose on this forum so um, you know that's that's where we've kind of uh, been able to add our comments. Um, you'll see too that there's some suggested content that might be um, available out on docs.com. So that's you know a nice way of doing it. But I can browse and, and view this content directly from this particular um, experience here. So the one note class notebook creator. In this Office Mix presentation, we're going to have a look at firstly what is OneNote, and then. And we'll pause it there, but you get the idea that I can go through. Um, now, while I'm looking at content, I can like the content, I can add it to a collection. Um, something that I've seen too is that I can embed the content too. And I think that if I just go through there, the embed content is, it looks like it's embedding the, the, uh, the content from the docs platform. So this isn't going through to mix and grabbing the mix embed content it's grab it's embedding it directly from the docs platform so yeah that's nice that it's it's all been done in um, in that central area um, a few things to, to be able to share and of course there's the link directly through to the content as it's uh, sitting on docs.com so that's um, you know a very quick look at the uh, details if we, um, we can tuck that away that's kind of cool um, let's go back to my main page where I've got my collections so you get an idea of, of what you can do um, around the uh, the content itself let's go back to that one thing you might have noticed too is there's a, a small view count to show um, how often a, a piece of content has been viewed and whether it's been liked so I do have a couple of hearts there which is quite so uh, I guess that's a few people that have followed them and 87 people have actually viewed so um, we have had a quick look at a, a few things there. Let's just go in briefly to the uh, Cara collection and just have a look at what these um, appear to be like when they've come through. Um, very different experience from, from Cara as you've seen before that it was um, very tiled and um, you know, just, just about words and about um, sharing links and now it's it's a lot more graphical. I've been able to put a, a header image behind you know, my user voice and um, Microsoft logo to show the the, the union um, and I can embed the whole collection so this is quite cool that I could take the embed code for this whole collection and share it on a blog post or on a, on a website and, and try and use that to surface the content and share it with uh, with my audience I've got a few options there about how I want to embed it whether it's going to be scrollable horizontally or, or square or vertical so you know I'll, I'll have a look at um, sharing that within the blog post after this video and seeing what I what I can um, put together um, so yeah a few things there and just what's come across really is um, by default all my Cara links uh, are um, using this default uh, uh, header image so if I go through oh, of course that's going to um, open the actual link uh, if I go through to the uh, editing the the um, collection um, we'll see there that there's um, um, your default thumbnail, um, your link as well, you can extract the information just like you could with the other Cara um, platform and um, what I wanted to do was just quickly spruce some of that up so there were some that I wanted to just see what could I bring through and um, at the moment you can bring through um, images um, you know you don't actually get a choice of what they are um, it will scan the page and pick those out but um, there's some good things coming there uh, 
as you would imagine, the docs.com team are, are just as um, uh, uh, open to feedback as, as all the other, other teams are at the moment, and they, they make changes um, based on all sorts of feedback that they get. So you'll see that there are some varying qualities of images there, and it's just basically <clears throat> because the, the Microsoft user voice sites are, um, you know, some of them have just been just been put up there, and there hasn't been much thought given to graphics and how it might look when when something fetches that. So yeah, that's no big deal. Like we'll go, go, we'll go through to the uh, Windows feature suggestions one, windows.uservoice.com, and um, you'll see there that it's it's really just grabbing the logo for Windows, and that's why it looks a little funky. Um, uh, based on the um, the tile that we've got there. No big deal. I'm sure there'll be some improvements coming along there. But just what I wanted to show you as a finish off is um, Yasuhiko Mori's um, uh, docs.com portal. Now he's um, involved, he's the program manager at Microsoft as you see there on the screen. Um, and he's very much involved with docs.com. Um, so he's got uh, some great examples of course that he's uh, shared. and. Um, Know, far better sways than I have because he's obviously in touch or in connection with uh, a number of good photographers. Um, so he's got yeah, all sorts of collections. Oh, no, there was one there. Publications by MVPs. So some friends of mine um, and their um, various things that they've uh, published within the docs.com portal. Um, and there's been a few things that have been picked up there like Kirsten's um, Let's Sway and something there from Naomi Money Penny. Um, and I'll oh, yeah, my, get my groups one and, and um, the intro to class notebook uh, creator. So yeah, um, it's it's early days, but man, it's come a long way since we we saw it um, in in a kind of early preview state um, a few months back. Um, I'm looking forward to using this portal. Uh, you know, some people might say, well, why would you use that um, over just sharing your documents from from OneDrive? It's not really a collaboration tool. What it is is it's trying to use it as a port portfolio and say these are the pieces of work that I'm proud of that I want to share with people um, I want to grab comments and have discussions around them and um, as you can see you, you're able to embed some of those collections into blog posts and other websites as well to try and um, leverage the docs.com platform so yeah I'm looking forward to uh, to using this um, we'll just finish it off there and, and sort of keep an eye out on what other changes are going to happen to this portal thanks for watching